today we're going to continue talking about the Pythagorean theorem. But today we're going to see in some ways that we can use it. In this problem, I have a ladder that's 11 meters long. And the ladder is placed 4 meters away from a wall. I'm trying to find the distance up the wall that the ladder will reach. I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared because I know that this is a right angle. I know the two short sides are x and 4. And the hypotenuse, or the long side, is 11. So I plug those into the formula. Be careful. We talked about this the other day. Sometimes we have to solve for one of the short sides. We don't just add up the squares of both sides. So in this example, x squared plus 16 is going to equal 121. So I want x squared to be by itself. I subtract the 16 from both sides. That's my inverse operations. And I would see that x squared is going to equal 105. Something times something is 105. Well, 105 isn't a perfect square. So I would use my calculator to take the square root of 105, which would be 10.25. This tells me that this missing side, or the height that the ladder is up the wall, is 10.25. Pause the movie now and copy this problem into your notes. Make sure to include the drawing. Let's look at another problem. John leaves school to go home. He walks six blocks north. So here's John going home, walking his six blocks north. And then eight blocks west. Eight blocks west. How far is John from the school? We want to know his distance from the school. Again, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, we have the two short sides, 6 and 8. 6 squared plus 8 squared is going to give us that c squared, or the distance from the school. 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. 36 plus 64 equals 100. So 100 equals c squared. Be careful, some students want to tell me that that's 100. Don't forget, c squared is 100, which means c times c is 100. In this case, c would be 10. Pause the movie, copy this problem, the diagram, and the steps to solution into your notes. Now try this problem on your own. I want to support this tree by placing sticks around the sides. Here's the sticks. I want the sticks to be five feet high, and I want them placed two feet away from the tree. How long should the sticks be? Use the Pythagorean theorem, find your solution, you will submit this to your teacher. Here's two more practice problems. These, we want to find n. We're looking for the hypotenuse. I'll give you a hint. When looking for the length of the sides, simply add the spaces or the squares. One, two, three. This would be three. Use the Pythagorean theorem for two and three to find what n equals and submit those to your teacher.